a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel to restate the Putu governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibo, said that he would have dropped his governorship ambition if Governor Godwin Obaseki was reasonable, or maybe if Governor Godwin Obaseki spoke to him very well, that he would have dropped his governorship ambition and allowed the governor have his way in order to preserve their relationship. But Governor Godwin Obaseki didn't do that. <laughs> my point be small, but uh, but guys, if I go comments fully, I go like welcome on a special it's my wonderful channel. So as to know the campaign management council of the People Democratic Party in Edo State, on Thursday alleged that the opposition planned to attack critical infrastructure and legacy projects of the government through talks. <laughs> my people, it has said. Moving on after this, we have the Federal High Court in Abuja fixed September 24th to hear the two separate motions filed by the Edo State Government and the House of Assembly challenging the restatement of Philip Shaibu as Deputy Governor. But guys, before I go carry the matter, can give on a go like welcome on a special to my wonderful channel, Reality the is just your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If today is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you all so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. The Aswanoj Campaign Management Council of the People Democratic Party in Edo State alleged that the opposition planned to attack critical infrastructure and legacy projects of the government through talks. So briefing newsmen in Benin. The Deputy Director General of Media and Publicity of the Campaign Council, Olu Martin, said that the intelligence gathered exposed the plan by the opposition to attack and destroy the civil service sectorate complex and the Benin City Mall, which are legacy projects of the Governor Godwin Obaseki led government. So he called on Inspector General of Police, Kayodo Betoku, and head of other security agency to brief up security around the facility to foster a breakdown of law and order. But in a swift reaction, the Director of Publicity, Edo or Progressive Campaign Council, Orobosa Omojo, described the allegation by the PDP as irrational, saying that that claim should be dismissed. That this irrational statement can only come from a gang of invaders who have been caught in the act. So their comments should not be taken serious. <laughs> he said that they don't take PDP comments serious because they work for Governor Godwin Obaseki. That he has declared open war on the federal government to the extent of threatening to burn the country down. That if he stalks that kill police inspector Akwano. So right now he said PDP are only designing a web of deceit to cover their heinous plan to promote riot through the peaceful protests in the states and blame President Bola Metunubu and all progressive congress for the destruction. Omojo said that there had been tension in the state following the attack on the convoy of the governorship candidate of the all progressive congress, Mondo Bobolo, and the restated deputy governor, Philip Shaibu, at the Billy Airport last Thursday. So after departing the airport in what was a homecoming reception for Shaibu, that a police officer attached to Monday Obolo Inspector Anuako was shot dead. That Martins on Thursday said that the PDP government in the state was not unmindful of the plan attack by the opposition under the guise of the proposed nationwide hunger protest. And that one was not enough for them. Now they are coming out to say that they have credible information that the plan is to attack the Benin City Mall and the do civil service sector complex and a couple of other infrastructure. People so just say that PDP plan is to destroy and burn down the property. That the infrastructure being targeted belong to Edo people and not Obaseki. That they are bringing this to the notice of Edo people and the media so that the security agency can be on red alert. That everybody must be on red alert. That they have noticed that the opposition has not bothered themselves about what they will do for the Edo people. That what they hear daily are the progressive ideas from the PDP governorship candidate, Aswe Hodalu. So those facilities they talked about were built with taxpayers' money and not with Governor Gordon Obaseki's money. That Edo people need to know this. That is the plan of the opposition party and they should not sit and watch them destroy what the governor built with a do people's tax. Hey, hey, my people don't be small. 
come as well again with me if you say a feed if you i mean this community election that is coming forth on september 21st 2024 now the state commission for communication and orientation chris nikari don't come at contact say the plan attack on government facility was employed by the opposition to get the federal government to declare a state of emergency in a do after the nationwide process Chris Negari said the talks recruited to cause chaos in the state. We are known criminal elements working freely in the state. So they want the police to arrest those talks. That the police know those who are known talks and who are capable of causing chaos in the states. That some of them recently left the PDP. Also, the special advisor to the governor on media projects, Chris Onosage, said that the opposition opponent in a do way moving to cause mayhem. And in that process, they are making a case for a state of emergency. Hey, <laughs> don't be small bad. Sir. But they said they're not going to give their room. Because this forthcoming governorship election is for PDP and not for APC. So whatever thing APC is doing in order to distract the people of Edo State, it will not work. So I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one. The Federal High Court in Abuja fixed September 21st to hear the two separate motion filed by the Edo State government and the House of Assembly challenging the restatement of Philip Shaibu as Deputy Governor. Justice James Obotosho fixed the date following two motions on notice filed by the state attorney general and House of Assembly by their lawyers, Oluwaye Yamu and Ken Mosia San, respectively. So, in the motion dated and filed July 18 by Iyamu, the AG sought two orders. One, he prayed the court for an order staying the execution of the judgment in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 478 slash 2024 between Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu versus Inspector General of Police and five others delivered on the 17th day of July 2024, pending the determination of the appeal filed against the set judgments. <laughs> he also sought an order of injunction restraining the respondent from giving effect to the July 17th judgment pending the hearing and determination of the appeal. Also, in the motion dated and fixed July 18 by Moza, the new lawmakers sought an order suspending the judgment and restraining Philip Shaibu from parading himself or attending any official function as deputy governor pending the hearing and determination of the appeal. So the applicants in their ground of argument said that being dissatisfied with the judgment, so they went ahead to file a notice of appeal dated July 18 on that same day. So the notice of appeal raises serious and arguable grounds. <laughs> They argued that their right of appeal would be stiffed if the application was not granted. So, the applicant said the smooth operation of the machinery of the state government would be impeded if Philip Shaibu is allowed to take over as the deputy governor of Edo State, having regard to his recent open declaration of support for the rival political party or progressive congress. So, monetary damages would be an adequate compensation to Philip Shaibu if it turns out that this application sought not to have been granted. I promo wait till September 21st to hear the two separate motions filed by the Edo State Government and House of Assembly. We will see the outcome. So, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. We would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us.